In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Matthias, apostle, and um, he's well known for his taking the place of Jude, the apostle, and so we hear of his story in the Acts of the Apostles as he is asked to join the Twelve, to become the Twelfth of the Twelve. It's a good reminder of how God has plans for us, and sometimes we don't always see what direction or the manner or fashion which God calls us when it comes to the details, but we always know that God asks for a kind, charitable, and faithful heart on our part. Mindful of this great calling, we begin the celebration of the Eucharist today, asking the Lord for forgiveness for our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. O God, who assigned St. Matthias a place in the College of Apostles, grant us through his intercession that rejoicing at how your love has been allotted to us, we may merit to be numbered among the elect. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter stood up in the midst of the brothers and sisters. There was about 120 persons in the one place. He said, my brothers and sisters, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand through the mouth of David concerning Judas, who was the guide for those who arrested Jesus. Judas was numbered among us and was allotted a share in this ministry, for it is written in the book of Psalms, let his encampment become desolate and may no one dwell in it, and may another take his office. Therefore it is necessary that one of the men who accompanied us the whole time, the Lord Jesus came and went among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day on which he was taken up from us, become with us a witness to his resurrection. So they proposed two, Joseph called Barsabbas, who was also known as Justice, and, Math and Matthias. And then they prayed, you Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which one of these two you have chosen to take the place in this apostolic ministry from which Judas turned away to go to his own place. Then they gave lots to them, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was counted with the 11 apostles. The words of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. The leaders of his people. Praise you, servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. From the rising of the sun to the setting is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord, above the heavens is his glory. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Who is like the Lord, our God, who is enthroned on high and looks upon the heavens and the earth below? The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. He raises up the lowly from the dust. From the dunghill he lifts up the poor to seat them with princes, with the princes of his own people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, I chose you from the world to go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment, love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my Father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you, and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So the other day I was speaking to one of our parishioners He's doing some work for us in the parish office. And I said, hey, you know, how's it going? And he just naturally responded, well, I'm living the dream. And he said it in a way that was not kind of like, kind of like the rote answer. Ah, I'm living the dream, you know, kind of like the thorough answer. He's just, yeah, I'm living the dream. Kind of he took ownership of that comment. And I, and I thought, it caused me to hesitate in a moment. I thought, you know, that, that is so true. All of us in this Easter season, well, every day of the year, but especially in this Easter season, we are living the dream because Jesus' death and resurrection allows us to. We hear in the gospel today that we are no longer slaves. We're no longer slaves to sin. We're no longer slaves to ignorance and darkness. We're no longer slaves to the evils of this world. The light and truth of Christ has been given to us. The Holy Spirit has been shared. And so that despite whatever earthly troubles, or whatever earthly sufferings we may experience, each and every day we can live the dream of being a pe person of God, a people of God, one of sons and daughters of the Father or brothers and sisters in Christ. The dream is possible now because our sins have been forgiven and sanctifying grace has been shared with us. We have been baptized and we've been offered the living body and blood of our Lord in the Eucharist and we're offered his mercy, continuing mercy in the sacrament of reconciliation. That thoroughly puts us in the dream, and sometimes it's just a matter of us kind of thinking about our lives and realizing that even on very, very bad days, which can happen, because of the nature of Jesus' cross and the great news, the phenomenal news about redemptive suffering, 
that even on the worst of days, one can still be close to the Lord and one can offer up their sufferings for the good of other souls out of love of Christ, love of neighbor, and love of self. So that word, that, that phrase, we're living the dream, is, is totally true. We have that option each and every day to live the dream, but sometimes it's a matter of us, and I, I, I'm guilty of it, you know, where I can think of, okay, where are all the, what are the obstacles of today that need to be navigated? What are the challenges today, right? And sometimes there are truly things to be attended to, but a lot of it is how, what is our disposition of tending to those important things? Um, you know, how, how that affects the way we're, we're relating to God or the way we're placing our trust in God, the, the, the ways in which sometimes, despite challenges, that because those challenges can occupy so much of our minds and hearts at times, that we're, we fail to see blessings. We fail to see gifts. We fail to see light. And some of the great things that give us light and sustain us in God's grace are right there present to us, even if in the moment we can't tend to those things maybe really directly. So each and every day we can live that dream, and that's I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I call you friends. And he's commanding us to do that which the father and son are already doing, love one another. And so he's implying there that we can. It's possible for us to love one another and to love God with a divine type of love. It doesn't mean it's the same. In other words, it doesn't mean that we're the same as God, but, but we're made in his image and likeness, and therefore we can love like God. That's good news, good news, and more good news. Which is the reason why it's the reading for St. Matthias, who replaces Jude among the Twelve. That, that's his job. The Twelve Apostles, their job is to go out, baptize all nations, preaching the gospel in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so, that, and that is the great news. You no longer, the world is no longer slave. Don't have to be slaves. You can live free and fulfilled because we know what our Lord is doing. And we know in some sense, not in the full, fullest, perfected sense, we know what God is calling us to. We're still discovering what God is calling us to. So that's, that's what Matthias is being asked to do very explicitly as now one of the 12 apostles. And that's what we're asked to do too also because of our virtue of our baptism and the particular vocation that God has called us to. So um, as we live the dream and perhaps are more conscious of living the dream in the light of Christ, then you know, it might remind us that, hey, if the light of Christ has been good, good so far for me, you know, not so far, it has been great for me, then, then um, I really should desire it for those around me who perhaps might not have received that gift or received the light of Christ. And so um, that's, that's, that's our calling today. Great, great Easter reading, a great Easter gospel, as we are indeed a people, a free people of the light of our Lord. So let us offer our prayers to the Lord. Gracious God, today we pray for Pope Francis. We pray for his ministries and service to the church. For our Pope, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the missionary work of the church of bringing the gospel to all nations and baptizing all peoples. Especially we remember today those, our brothers and sisters who live in particularly difficult areas where their lives and livelihood are threatened, their ability to practice the faith is, is endangered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For vocations to the priesthood and to the religious life, that young men and women might generously surrender their lives to the Lord to follow wherever Jesus calls, we pray to the Lord. For the sick and suffering, for their healing and consolation in Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord and for the Mother's Day Novena, the intentions of the Mother's Day Novena, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord Gracious God, through the intercession of St. Matthias, we ask that you hear the prayers we offer today and that you grant them through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread we offer to you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine we offer to you, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. O God, who assigned Saint Matthias, receive, O Lord, the offerings of your church, reverently presented for the feast of Saint Matthias, and through them strengthen us by the power of your grace, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Andrew, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. You. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For those of you who'd like to receive the Eucharist on the hand, I invite to come forward first in our communion line. For those who would like to receive on the tongue, uh, please wait until all those who have desired have received on the hand. And as always, thank you for being mindful of your social distancing.
My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you by your grace. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Never cease, O Lord, we pray, to fill your family with divine gifts, and through blessed Matthias' intercession for us, graciously admit us to a share in the lot of the saints in light, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Uh, just one announcement. Uh, we are following, continuing to following archdiocesan guidelines, but you might notice that some of the structure that we've had in place have been um, ha have been removed, and so there is kind of a, a greater judgment, too, for people to maintain their social distancing. We are still asking people to wear their masks. Specifically with regards to the Sunday Masses, we will have two Masses on Sunday, the 5.30 Saturday Vigil Mass and the 6 p.m. Sunday Evening Mass, where we will have structured social distancing, where we will have designated areas, more structured, offered for that to help people um, if, if, they, if they choose to desire that. So uh, thank you again for being flexible, but also being mindful again of we're not quite out of, we still have a few stages to go yet, but, we're, but by God's grace, we're getting there. And so um, continue to um, please you know, follow the, the guidelines and instructions by the Archdiocese and um, continuing to follow God's grace. We're, we're gonna get there, we're gonna get there. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ.